Hey, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of Odyssey. It's a new music composition app from the makers of Mix and Key. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at what Odyssey is, and I'll give you a short tour of the interface before I give you my thoughts on it. Odyssey is a MIDI editor, kind of like a basic digital audio workstation, or DAW, that lets you quickly sketch out ideas by letting you choose from hundreds of chord progressions, bass lines, and drum patterns, all of which come from decades of popular music. It's like mixed and key extracted the formulas for what made pop and dance songs through the years great, and they kind of made them available to you. So you're going to find a ton of familiar chord progressions, bass rhythms, and drum loops to get you on your way. Okay, now let's take a quick peek at the Odyssey interface first. Right now, I'm using the Mac version of the app, but you can also use just your browser. The advantage of using the desktop app is that you can change the sounds of the instruments if you want to, whereas in the browser version, you can't. Okay, so over here, I've got my projects. Um, I can create a new project by left-clicking here. If I want to import a MIDI file that I've got on my computer, just left-click on this one and add new folder also just to organize all the projects that I've got in here. So currently, I have two. Uh, the one here at the bottom is the demo project, which is there by default. And over here at the top, I've got a project that I was working on a few minutes ago. This is called um, Neptunes. I've got a new dance music outfit called Mermaid. So I figured, you know, uh, let's try Odyssey, try coming up with a song idea using it. So let's just open it up so I can show you the interface. There you go. And here's the main interface. And as you can see, it looks very familiar if you have been working inside a doll like Ableton Live or FL Studio. You've got your grid over here as well as the notes, which correspond to either musical notes or rhythmic notes in the case of drums. On here on the left side, you've got a seven octave keyboard all the way down. And you also got your drum samples over here at the very, very bottom. Now again, here in the middle, you've got your grid. So before we go any further, let me just play it back so you can hear what I've come up with so far. Scroll down a little bit. This is the bass line. Drums are over here. Yeah, so as you can hear, that is almost a fully formed music idea. All I gotta do is to sort of flesh this out, uh, make it a little bit longer, put some buildups and drops, and all that other good stuff later on. But basically, I've got the idea for my song over here. I've got my chord progression, I've got my bass line, and I've also got my drums here at the bottom. Now, the cool thing about this is that I didn't plot any of these notes individually. Yes, all I had to do was to click here on add chord progression over here on the right side under chords and it would let me choose from all these different types of chord progressions that are available in the A minor scale and these are all chord progressions that sort of sound good uh, in a dance music setting so right now I've got this one it's the one six four seven chord progression and if you want to hear how it sounds like with a different one all you got to do is to choose a different chord progression let's say this one over here and then I'm gonna play it back. And you can hear it instantly. You can hear what the difference is. So you can even just, you know, keep on switching to other progressions, see how they sound like. And I thought the really cool thing about that was even if I changed the chord progression over here in the chords track, these are the tracks, by the way, over here on the right side, when I move down to my bass line over here, let me just click on the bass line track, it would follow the chord progression that I chose for the chords. And that's because uh, when I added this bass line, I set it to follow the chords. Now, if I want it to be different, uh, if I want to choose a different style of bass playing, I, I can do that simply by just going here to the preset portion and you know, choosing another one. And instantly, you've got a different rhythm going on. You can even specify the position of uh, the bass, if you want, you can make it go lower, the first octave. Or higher if you want it to be higher. 
almost like an EDM pluck there. And if you really wanted to move away from the chord progression, you can do that. Which gives it a different flavor, of course. And again, this is just like a really, really handy tool for producers, even though um, you're, you're somewhat intermediate or even if you're kind of starting out but you know your way around your DAO. This is a great way to come up with a lot of ideas really, really quickly. And not just to generate those ideas, but for you to also know how these chord progressions sound in the context of the music that you're making. So let's say um, I just want to make a different track here altogether. Let's say I want to make a, a song in G flat major pentatonic. Let's say I don't know what this is. I don't know what the G flat major pentatonic scale is. So what I can do is I can just look for a chord progression over here. Let's say um, this one and see how that sounds like. And I'm like, oh, okay, so this is what like the G flat major pentatonic scale sounds like when I'm using this chord progression. So as you can see, it's really easy to just sort of geek out and just hear all the different possibilities that are available to you. I mean, like just uh, browsing through those uh, chord progression changes, you already have like a lot of song ideas generated. So uh, again, it's just a matter of, um, I guess, spending time and getting familiar uh, with the interface of the software and also knowing uh, the basics and the fundamentals of uh, music theory because again uh, if you aren't familiar with what scales are for example if you don't know what the C major scale is uh, you're gonna have a bit of trouble knowing what all these numbers over here mean so my recommendation is first off uh, get a basic grasp of um, your music theory basics know what the major scale is what the minor scale is uh, you don't have to memorize them just know what they are and also know how chords are made. Chords are basically just two or more notes that are played together. And then you'll begin to understand like all of these different combinations here are just different types of possibilities when it comes to producing. Yes, I thought that's pretty cool. And Again, um, you can even uh, change these notes individually. If you want, just click on Edit by Hand, and you can uh, you know, move these notes over here. If you want to make them shorter or longer, you can, and all that other stuff. Now, over here on the drums portion, um, you've got a selection of drum patterns over here. There's not as much as uh, the bass line and the chords in terms of uh, patterns and progressions. But over here, uh, you've got basically the gamut of dance music. You've got dance pop, something like that. So you can audition all of these different patterns as you go along. For the melody track, uh, you don't have a pattern generator over here because uh, you're supposed to write your own. And you can do that using either the computer's keyboard or you can just draw the notes individually as needed. Um, so you can just, you know, draw them as you want. And uh, the cool thing is like you can only play the notes that are available to you on the scale. So that's pretty awesome. You're never going to be out of key and, you know, uh, more or less it's going to sound proper. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, again, just, I just randomly added those notes, but you get the idea. You can also check out the entire scale if you want. Uh, it'll show you which scales, uh, which notes aren't part of the scale, such as these over here. Of course, no sharps or flats in the C major scale. And you can view it as folded, which will only show you the notes that you've added uh, MIDI data on to. So again, this is a really, really quick and easy way for you to come out with like a handful of song ideas for you to turn into your next 
big hit. I like to think of Odyssey as a song generator. It's kind of like um, I'm not sure if you've played like Dungeons and Dragons and you know RPG games growing up, but usually they have like character generator dice and or you know like an app or something like that. And all you gotta do is to roll the dice and you come up with these attributes. Um, Odyssey is kind of like that, although you do get to specify uh, what key they're in, what the tempo is. And, you know, also, if you want to make some individual changes on the notes, you can do that on your own. So I think that's a handy feature because um, apart from, you know, giving you all of these great sounding progressions and patterns straight off the bat, you also have the option of customizing them. So let's say that you are finished uh, with your track. Let's say, um, let's just remove this melody over here. Let's say we're happy with what we've got over here. So you want to use that, all you got to do is click on export MIDI and click on export full track and it'll give me this dialog box, let's say version 1 and save and now all I got to do is to pull up Ableton Live or whatever DAW you're using. Right, so I've got it over here. I'm just going to change the tempo to match the project and then go on over and add some MIDI tracks. We had three there. And then I'm just going to import on over that MIDI track that we had. Just drag it on over here. Yeah. Okay. So over here, I think we had that synth track going on. So let's just have a piano here. Again, you, you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you how to transfer it on over to your DAW. There you go. And over here, I got a bass line. Uh, which is my favorite. Bass. And saw bass. Okay. And then I'll just put like, I don't know, like an 808. Okay. And then. And then you've got your MIDI over here and then uh, if you're more comfortable editing and tweaking in your DAW well you can do that because now you have all the notes all the data and it's just a matter of flushing this out making it to a bigger track adding your transitions adding your intros and outros and all that other good stuff so that's it for this talk through i really really like odyssey i think it has the potential to be an important tool in a dj producer's toolkit especially if you're faced with writer's block or you're just stuck in a musical rut i've got a full in-depth review of odyssey over at the digital dj tips website the link is in the description box below please hit the thumbs up icon and hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber yet my name is Joey. Thank you for watching this talk through. I'll see you soon.